We are at the very famous uh, Marine Corps Recruit Depot's pool, Harris Island, South Carolina, home of the United States Marines. And we've been called out to check out some damage uh, on the uh, bottom of the indoor swim qualification pool. As soon as I submerge here, I'm noticing there's some really strange etching going on in the bottom of this pool. See how muddled the uh, concrete looks. And this is a former repair. This is not a repair that we did. This is a repair that somebody else did prior to us. Looks solid. It's just kind of ugly. You can see here to the left, uh, like an oil grease stain on the bottom of the pool. But this is what we were called to check out. Uh, this is uh, an actual hole in the, in the concrete surface or the plaster surface of the bottom of the pool. The uh, supervisors of the pool had noticed uh, a couple of holes like this pop up. And so they asked me to come check it out and see if I could offer a repair. I've repaired these before. You can see there's a big dent in the bottom of the pool scratch and it looks like that was the uh, start of that crack and consequently the, the hole. And this is the larger one that they noticed. You can see there's another big scrape. A uh, big hole in the, in the plaster or the, the denite of the pool. So I'm going to sort of pull the edges back and make sure that I've got an accurate idea on how much plaster I'm going to need to be able to uh, make a re this repair. You see I do uh, about two and a half hands each way. It's just kind of a rough estimate. I just need to get an idea on, on uh, measurement. And you see that weight off there to the right? That is a, um, uh, that holds a buoy. Believe it or not, the pool is so large that uh, it's easily lost. You know, it's easy not to be able to find that damage. So they marked it for me. There's another uh, grease spot or oil spot on the bottom of the pool. It doesn't really come up. It's a stain. It's permanently in the, in the uh, gunite, and I can probably uh, offer a repair for that as well. You see how the see how the uh, surface is all muddled and uh, sort of moon moon surface ish. Yeah, look at that. So what's going on here is the chemicals in the pool have not been properly maintained. Uh, this is a clear indication that that is the case. That's an old patch that we did right there. You probably can't even see that patch. That's how good that repair was. Here's another one that actually has had uh, some of its, uh, it's actually dissolved somewhat. But uh, the chemicals, if the, if the chemicals are not properly maintained in the pool, then the pool water will literally leach the lime right out of the plaster and out of the concrete, which is exactly what's going on. It's basically, the water is dissolving the interior surface of the pool, and in this case, a good portion of that patchwork. Here's another big patch that we did, and look, it's just, it's like it's uh, completely dissolved. That was a huge repair that we did at one point, and uh, that patch looked as good as the other ones. But you can see there's places here where this, my, where the the uh, the repair has just literally been dissolved away uh, by the lack of uh, calcium and lack of proper maintenance of the water. But this is not a repair. That is the original pool surface. You can see how how pockmarked and and mottled it is. Again, the water is just kind of. Um, uh, sucking the calcium right out of the uh, of the concrete and causing this uh, this damage. Here's a, a good spot. You can tell from the stain, and the pool is not supposed to be stained, by the way. But you can tell from the stain what is old concrete that hasn't dissolved, right? And so I go up there and just kind of rub that surface right off, and it looks like I'm removing the stain, but I'm not. I'm actually removing. The top layer of concrete which includes the stain so it looks like I'm cleaning but in fact I'm actually abrading the, the bottom of the pool right off into the water and it's that calcium that lime that is being uh, dissolved into the water and they need to uh, prevent this 
by properly maintaining all of the pool's chemicals, especially the calcium hardness level. You can see it just dissolves into the water. That's terrible. That will re uh, cause irreparable damage. Here's more damage to the pool, uh, in this case specifically the tiles. I focused on the tiles quite a bit um, because I want to be able to offer a uh, solution to that as well. Several tiles have been uh, damaged, cracked, uh, shattered uh, from the activities in the pool. I think all in all I counted 27 damaged tiles, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put in for 30. And I'll, I'll uh, clean all that up and put new tiles down. That's me counting them there. See how rough that concrete looks? And here I've got some pieces of tiles. I mean, this was a recent break, even. But I've got pieces of tile that I'm actually picking up. I'm going to hold on to those so that I've got samples. And you can see here, these are the grates. There's four of these big grates at the bottom of the pool. I've done a lot of work with the grate covers and the valves inside. And I'm happy with the way those look. So here's one of my previous patches. I'm tracing it with my finger there. And that patch is almost impossible to see, even when you're right on it, which is great. Right about there where my thumb is, uh, there has been some dissolving of the plaster from the, uh, from the bad water balance. I'm pretty happy with that patch, but I'm still going to go back and uh, maybe add a little bit of, of concrete to that area right there to get it smoothed out a little bit better. Yeah, some of my patchwork uh, was completely dissolved. In uh, other places, you know, it, it, it looked great. This damage here is caused by uh, impact. So there's been things that have hit those tiles and shattered them. And you can see they just kind of break off of my fingers. Again, counting more tiles. And there's my samples. I'm CJ, your favorite scuba diver with Deep South Divers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Broken tile, I'm probably going to need to match those, so I need those samples. <laughs>